Good afternoon. How's it going? How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? <laughs> good. I love the music. Doing a little chair dance? Yes, we are waiting, live. Waiting for our Eric people. <laughs> we don't know if that was much of a chair dance, but... Uh... Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. Our top story today is going, going, gone. These are the markets that are selling the homes the quickest. That's is that, right. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> I pulled these out today because you know the list, there's always lists, right? The top lists of lists of lists. But today's list, I found two different ones that I thought were interesting because they correlated directly on where homes are selling the fastest and where the biggest percentage of job gains are in the nation. So I don't know which you want to talk about first, the houses or the job gains? Well, we think we would go with our top story. Is there an intersection there in they the graphs? Intersect. You know, the, the, right there is the sweet spot, so to speak. That's it. So what is one of the driving, the driving force in home prices? Jobs. Jobs. So isn't it funny that these two checklists, they correlated directly? That's what I thought. So um, here we are. So our top um, list today, number one place that people are moving is Ogden, Utah, which I thought was interesting, but I've heard from a couple people lately that Utah is just crazy. I mean, it's all crazy, but that Utah is particularly cuckoo. Cu <laughs> now, are you sure? Ogden, Utah? Ogden, Utah. Now this, the way they did this, they had some caveats about the list. Only one city per uh, state, and then the surrounding areas around the, the city that they picked to be their, you know, Demont, their example city of So state. is there a lot of other cities around Ogden, Utah that possibly didn't make the list? Yeah, but they're still booming. Oh, okay. So we're we're going to stand by Ogden. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Just Mostly because it directly co correlates. It's one of my cities here on the job gains. So we'll go through. So the, the how they calculated this, this is a Realtor.com article um, that came out yesterday. And it said the national... Average is 43 days on the market is how they calculated this, which is um, three weeks faster in home closings than a year ago. So um, things are moving very quickly. Um, and four out of the five fastest moving metro areas are in the West, because of course Californians are moving out of California, but they're not moving too far. They're moving to places like Ogden, Utah, Ogden, Utah. <laughs> which okay. is number one. <laughs> But Oregon, you know, Arizona, Nevada, all our kind of neighboring states are all um, been booming with people leaving California. Yeah, I think it's the largest net drop since they've been keeping statistics on California of people moving out versus people moving in. That's Why right. do you think that is? Yeah, taxes. <laughs> what do you mean? Taxes. Well, and a lot of things, but that's usually the primary dri driver. The number one reason that people are moving is jobs. They need to find a job, have a job, get a better job, um, or now that they have flexibility is what's driving some of this crazy uh, real estate market nationally, is that people can now work from home, and that is what they're choosing to do, go live in a different area. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been devastated, especially a lot of people in the service industry, based on the California lockdowns, the very restrictive restrictions when it comes to covid so it has all played into the hands of the surrounding states of California. Yeah. So the next one on the list uh, is Manchester, New Hampshire. It's actually an East Coast one. Number three, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Number four, Reno, Nevada. Number five, Vallejo, California. It's the only one on the list in California, but that's number five. Wait a minute. Where, where's Vallejo, California? Vallejo is in the Bay Area. It's up on the way to Napa is Vallejo. So East Bay, but I would call that North e e East Bay since I used to live in the e East Bay, which I would consider Oakland, Orinda, Walnut Creek, Lafayette, all the way out towards Tracy, that direction, East Bay. Um, but then Vallejo is kind of North Bay. You can still take a ferry to work if you live in Vallejo. You can take the ferry from Vallejo to the city of San Francisco. Oh, I didn't know that. I was thinking Vallejo was like Valencia, Bakersfield, Visalia, Vallejo. No. No, it's not. It's no. Okay. Wow, so they must have job growth up there. They do. Oh, and they okay. have affordable housing. The average, I didn't 
do all the detail here, but their housing price is under is like five seventy five under six hundred thousand was the average price in Vallejo, which I thought was really low, but that's what that's what the article said. How close to the border is Vallejo? Border yeah. of what? Well, isn't that the, what a state above it, Washington? No, Vallejo's in the East Bay, San Francisco. Oh, well, you said Napa, then it gets up there sooner or later. Well, they... that's a long way. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, well, I... How's your California geography, <laughs> Oklahoma boy? Yeah, well... <laughs> You've only lived here for like, how long, 35 years? <laughs> well, there's... But he never goes up that way. <laughs> he I likes like, it warm. I, I like Southern California. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, number six, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, number seven, Elkhart, Indiana. Number eight, Austin, Texas. Number nine, Topeka, Kansas. And number 10, Rochester, New York. So that is the top 10 places where homes are selling the fastest. So we do have California and New York both on that list. And those are the homes that are selling the fastest. And they must be flying off the shelves. I guess so. Well, 43 days on average. Here you see our days on market here in Ventura count, uh, County is down to like 20 days. It's just crazy. Um, so anyway, historically people have left the Northeast and the Rust Belt and moved to the South and West. And in the last decade, the populations in the warmer states like Nevada, South Carolina, Arizona, Florida, and Oregon have increased by 6%. Uh, of course, California population has had a loss 2%. Uh, in the, the same time frame, and Texas has gained 4% in population. So that's kind of the migration pattern there. Um, well, California is the most populous state with over 40 million residents. I think it's more than that, isn't it? We just had a census. I thought the we census. Did? Yes, in 2020. I thought we had 10 million just in LA. <laughs> we got, well, LA and surrounding counties. Yeah. Yes. You and have Riverside lot. County, you've got uh, San Bernardino County, LA County. Southern California, I know. Uh huh. So then, like I said, people mainly move for jobs. Find jobs, so we'll move right into the jobs. So the net gain in jobs of places that were on my list for the fastest uh, moving homes, which, you know, you see my correlation here, why I chose this topic for today. Number three, Ogden, Utah, 8% job increase, job gains. Number five, Austin, these are the ones that were on our list, net job gains, 5%. And Colorado Springs. So that those are where this list intersected. Number one place for job gains, um, Bradenton, Florida, nine percent up. So if you've got job growth, like Ogden, Utah, mm -hmm. as we're, as our example here, yep. I mean you've got fastest selling homes, that's where your correlation is. Right, and the highest job gains. Fastest selling homes to the highest job gains means you know the job gains pushes the home price and the home sales. I would think so, yeah. 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 There's a correlation. So no wonder they're both on the same list, but you would almost think that they'd go down the list simultaneously. What's number one selling the fastest would be the number one job growth, but it's not exactly that It's way. not exactly that. And so, like the job gains here, San Antonio was number two at 9% increase, and Austin number five, but Austin was on the housing list, so you never know quite how statistics shake out, but that was where the overlap was. Now, job losses, I thought it was pretty obvious what the number one state in the or area in the nation that had job losses would be, and it was Las Vegas. So you can tell me it's all tourism and shows and restaurants, and it's just been decimated from the last year. So job loss there, once 12%. Again, yeah, once again, the service industry, Yeah. I think, has been hit harder than any other industry with the COVID. That's right. So, so it would make sense that Vegas is the one to get hit the hardest. Um, number two, Orlando, Florida. Again, who's probably the largest employer around the Orlando metro area would be, you know, Disney World and Animal Kingdom and Universal Studios and all those things that have not really been open for a year. So that makes sense, too. Um, number three was Grand Rapids. Number four, Richmond, Virginia. And number five, Los Angeles. We made the list. Down 8% on job losses. Okay, so, so we went with job gains and then job losses. That's right. Okay, you messed me up a little bit because you start off with Ogden, Utah, but that was number three. On job gains oh, and number one oh, on the housing right, list. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. All right, just, just following you here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. Got to make sure you can follow me yes. so our viewers can follow me. <laughs> yes, I, I got this. Yeah. 
So the um, interest rates are still, they're just over 3%. They went down a little bit in the last week. So it is still just a roaring market uh, out there. If you know anybody who's thinking about selling a property, um, and we've had a lot of inquiries about people with investment property that have owned it for a long time and they are thinking about cashing out and doing something else. So if you are thinking about cashing out and doing some, something else or you have moved away and you have a non-owner occupied property or you've inherited a property, uh, let's talk because it is a great time to be a seller. Yes, it is. And you know, this was a phrase that was what coined a hundred years ago. We're in the roaring twenties. Yeah, we are back, <laughs> back in the roaring twenties. <laughs> The, the, the real estate gold rush, here we go. Yeah, is everybody yeah. rushing towards real estate? Yeah, that's the, so the driving factors, um, what's moving this housing prices. Oh, another st a statistic I pulled out here I thought was interesting was California, just our state, needs to build 180,000 units a year to keep up with the demand. And in the last decade, they've only built about 80,000 a year. So that's part of the reason we have this huge price increase and deficit and a crazy market is just the number of units. Well, it sounds reasonable, but if people keep moving out, then that number's going to go down. Well, you would think, except <laughs> the demand is still there, evidently. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you need anything about real estate at all, we've got the answers. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. That's right.